to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. The first decade of the 20th century saw the rise of a new phase of Indian enterprise. Breaking away from the domination of British firms, Indian entrepreneurs had begun to make a mark. From trading companies in Calcutta, Madras and Bombay, to textile mills, manufacturing units and homegrown banks to fund it all. But the setting up of Tata Steel in 1907 marked a new dawn of heavy industries that would go on to lay the building blocks of a new India. The story of Tata Steel and how it transformed a small town, Sakchi, into the first planned city of India is a stuff of corporate legend and a story closely linked to the founder of the Tata group, Jamshedji Tata. Born in 1839 into a family of Parsi priests in Navsari in Gujarat, Jamshedji came to Bombay as a teenager. The city was emerging as the commercial capital of India and the young Jamshedji was quick to ride the wave. He started several ventures, mostly in the textile business, making a mark by establishing first the Empress Mill in Nagpur in 1877 and later the Taj Mahal Hotel in 1903. But long before both, Jamshedji had already set his mind on an audacious plan to set up India's first steel plant. The idea came to him in 1867 when he heard a speech by British author Thomas Carlyle who said, the nation which has the steel will have the gold. After two decades of research and visits to the steel and industrial belt of the US, Alabama, Pittsburgh and Cleveland, Jamshedji put together a team that came back to scout for the richest iron ore deposits in India. It was an uphill task and one that was scoffed at. For instance, so amused was the Chief Commissioner of the Railways Board, Sir Frederick Upcott, when he heard that the Tatars were looking at manufacturing steel for the railways, that he famously retorted, I will undertake to eat every pound of steel they succeed in making. Sadly, Jamshedji Tata didn't live to see his dreams come true or Upcott eat his words. He died in May 1904 and it was left to his sons, Dorab and Ratan, to set up the Tata Iron and Steel Company Limited, or Tisco, in 1907. The factory came up in the tribal stretch of Sakchi, at the confluence of the Subarna Rekha and Karkai rivers in present-day Charkand. India's first Indian-owned modern steel plant produced the first steel ingot on the 16th of February 1912. By 1919, the company was so successful that the town of its birth was renamed Jamshedpur as an ode to the founder of the Tata Group and his vision. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for India's first steel company. In 1924, it faced a near collapse and at that point, the company head, Sadurab Tata, had to pledge his wife's jewels, the Jubilee Diamonds to be precise, to save the company. But that is another story. Tata Steel weathered that storm and many more and is today one of the largest steel manufacturers in the world with a presence across the globe. It is a conglomerate that is so big and spread out that its long-running ad campaign can safely end with this line. We also make steel.